Hi everyone, Becky here. As promised, I'm going to uh, show you a few haircuts on my husband Bob today. Um, gonna give you a few little tips on um, perhaps just doing a haircut on your loved one who maybe wears short hair. So my first haircut is just going to be trimming up a little bit around the edges. Bob's hair is not really all that long right now, but uh, we've been quarantined, what, for two or three weeks for some of you. So you may be getting a little shaggy. So I am going to um, use just the scissors on this first haircut. Um, and then when we finish this up, and that's Arlo, our cat, who may want to be fed, um, or maybe just wants to watch. Anyway, uh, after we do this little trim, I will do a second video on using the clippers and how to do a holdover haircut with some clippers. So anyway, um, I am going to use my regular salon shears and I'm actually going to start with the little tiny manicuring cuticle clippers scissors that I used on my bangs the other day because a lot of you may not have really, really good shears, but if you have a sharp pair of little scissors or maybe some sewing scissors that are pretty sharp, you may want to use those because you do want them to be fairly sharp, but uh, do be very careful, especially around their ears and their eyes. So anyway, let's get started and I'll kind of move Bob's chair around a little and move the camera to hopefully uh, give you some good views. Okay, we've... Uh, dampened Bob's hair a little bit already, but you don't necessarily have to have wet hair. You can do it on dry hair. So right now I'm just gonna kinda clean up around his hairline and blend it, blend it up a little bit here on the sides and kinda do the same thing around his ears and maybe a little bit of trim up here on the top, uh, but we'll cut it a little bit closer on our next haircut with the clippers. So, um, really what we want to do right now is just hold you over until you can get back to your hairdresser or your barber um, but uh, if your hair is driving you crazy and maybe you still are going out and working in a professional job and want to look good then uh, maybe your wife or your husband or your daughter or son can trim you up so anyway these are those tiny little um, cuticle cut cutting shears so I'm gonna see what happens when I use these right now. But first off, made up to go in here like this. First off, you're just gonna to wanna to comb the hair straight down. And I'm gonna just kind of cut right along the hairline. I'm not sure you can see that from that angle. So I'm gonna move it. Okay, let me see. Okay. That's a little bit better. So I'm just kind of taking a little bit at a time here. The trick is to just do a little bit at a time. You don't need to cut a whole lot off. You can, uh, you can always cut more. You just can't put it back, obviously. So, uh, However, my dad used to always say the only difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut was two weeks. So if it's not a great haircut, it's okay. In a couple weeks, it'll look the same as a good haircut did. It'll be grown out a little bit and uh, no one will ever know that your loved one cut your hair. So here we go. I'm gonna kind of go from this little corner over to where I've already cut with my little handy dandy shears. Kinda looks a little crooked, doesn't it? Oh well, I'm doing it that way on purpose to make you feel better about your haircut. Okay. All right, I'm gonna use these again around his ears, but right now I'm gonna switch off to my real shears and cut some so so we've cleaned up a little bit around the hairline and for some of you that may be all you want is your hairline cleaned up and then you may have to use a razor if you don't have any clippers and just take a razor maybe some shaving cream and clean up the hair on their neck um, 
but I'm gonna go ahead and blend it in to some of this hair right up in here, okay? All righty, let's see. I think I did get that a little crooked, so I'm gonna go in here and cut a little bit more off. I'm used to cutting uh, the hairline with a set of clippers, so I'm not used to really going in with my shears and cutting hair this short, but there we go, that looks better. So hopefully everyone can see how that was done. So now I'm going to just, um, of course, a lot of you will have much longer hair than this. And if you do um, have longer hair, if you maybe you're doing your son's hair or your daughter's hair that's, where it's a little bit shorter and it's really long, you would wanna maybe clip this up. I'm going to uh, have some clips here to show you, but uh, you can just use a, a little jaw that a lot of people use for their hair on long hair, just any kind of little clip to section it off so you don't have a bunch of hair that you're working on at once. But I'm just gonna pretend that the hair's not all that much longer than Bob's right now. So I'm gonna kind of take the comb and I would pull this out. And you wanna think about how long has it been since their last haircut? Maybe they get their haircut every four weeks and typically hair grows about a half an inch a month. So they may just be a month overdue and um, Maybe they have a half an inch growth that they want off or a full inch. So just kind of think about how much hair you have between the edge of your finger and out to here. So this is about a month's worth of growth. So that's about a half an inch. So I'm just gonna kind of pull that out and hold it and take my shears. Being really careful not to clip too close to your fingers here or you're gonna cut yourself. So now I'm gonna go over just a little bit and you're gonna see the hair that I've already cut. And now I've got about a half an inch here and I'm gonna trim and I'm gonna work myself around. Cut about a half an inch off that little section. Pull it out. You really can't see what I'm doing at that little angle, but you'll see me when I get to the other side. So let's move over here a little bit. So I'm gonna start in the center again where I have already cut a little bit of hair off. And I'm going to pull that out. And if you're really pretty much taking about a half an inch off all through the area that you haven't cut, I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, but at least it's gonna get them by and hopefully get a little bit of the, the weight and the bulkiness out of their hair. So, like I said, a lot of you may just wanna cut that little bit around the bottom and a little bit around the ears, but if you do wanna be a little brave and your loved one doesn't mind you uh, experimenting a little bit on them, then go ahead and taper it up and take out some of that bulkiness. So you can kinda see what I'm doing there. Just continuing to bring that up. Trim it off and remember not to get too close to the, I don't know who that is. I think it's our cat Nothing. coughing up a hair ball. <laughs> there is no hair on the ground yet for him to eat, but you okay, Arlo? Uh-oh, yikes. Uh, <laughs> that's not a pleasant sound. <laughs> All right, so you can see what I'm continuing to do with Bob's hair. I'm lifting up and I'm coming up just a little bit further than I was. And I'm taking the bottom and they're so cheap, talking to us too. And again, just going up the back of his head and taking about a half an inch off. And you may be thinking, aren't you just taking the same half inch? Now you're up to an inch, but I'm continuing to move up the head. So I'm getting about a half an inch from each little section. So anyway, I'll continue that little bit. That's probably about all I'm gonna do in the back. For now, I'm gonna kinda um, just do this light little trim around the bottom and with a little bit of a taper here. Some of you had requested a little tapering haircut 
tutorial. So that's how you taper. You kind of just take it, lift it, pull it out, and trim it. You can also take it this way if you feel inclined to do so. You can also hold the hair uh, vertically, I guess, yeah, and trim it the same way. It has the exact same effect as holding it this way, just a different little technique. So if that feels a little more comfortable to you, just remember a little bit at a time is a lot better than taking a whole lot off. So there, that's looking pretty good. I think I've been doing this for a while. So anyway. Okay, so I think that's gonna be about it for the back. See how nice that's looking? Mm-hmm. Yes. And Bob's got a little bit of a natural wave in his hair, so it does look like he's kind of got a little bit of a weight line still in there, which he does, but uh, I'll get that when I'm using the clippers on it. So I want to leave a little bit of hair up here to uh, show my clipper cut here in a few minutes. So now I'm going to bring you around here and cut the sides. See some of our kitchen. This was nice. I had to spend a little time cleaning up before I videotaped and uh, hopefully we won't be eating hair tonight. So now with the sides and around the ears you do want to be really really careful because even those tiny little um, scissors I used are pretty sharp and I'm going to use them again because um, if you're using really big big kitchen shears it might be kind of difficult to get into this little area so I would suggest something smaller if you have it but I'm um, going to use this one on this side and I'll use my other ones on the other side so really what's important around the ears to do is to always kind of like bend the ear forward and you're going to comb here and you're going to see probably a lot of straggly hair he hanging over. So just kind of take your shears and hold their ear down. Just trim a little bit at a time. There we go. And like I said, you may be dealing with someone who has hair all the way down to here and they want their hair pretty short. So uh, and if their hair is really long, again, just take a little section like this and just clip it up and get it out of the way. So you can just work with a little bit of a hair at a time instead of all this hair hanging over. So hopefully that makes sense. Does it, Bob? It does. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this down. I'll try to go in this angle so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better, but. Again, being really careful around their ear and even their little cheek. One time I was given a haircut when uh, the mullet and the bi levels were in and I was cutting someone's hair really short and I went in with my shears, shears and cut a big V right into her face. So scissors are really sharp, so do be very careful. There we go. There again, you can pull his ear down, clean it up a little bit better here. And I'm not sure, some of you may be working on someone with a beard, but you could even take some of that beard hair that needs a little trimmed and blend it right into uh, the section you just cut. There we go. So you could leave it at that and just clean up the edges around the ear and around the back, but I'm going to kind of do on the sides what I did in the back. And that is to just taper it and blend some of that hair in with the sides and maybe get rid of a little bit of the bulkiness. So I'll see a little bit of hair here still. Okay. So Hopefully you can see this, but I'm gonna take my comb and pull that hair out 
And there again, about a half an inch off, a little bit less actually right here. His hair wasn't all that long on the side, so there we go. Just pulling up and trimming it off. So hope this is helpful for you guys. I know a lot of people with really short hair just go crazy when they're three or four days overdue. So I know for a lot of you being a week or two or three weeks overdue is probably driving you really crazy. So there we go. And again, I'm gonna leave some of this hair because I wanna cut quite a bit of that with my clippers. So, so that's that side. Looks pretty good and might kinda just take and cut a little bit right here around his hairline here, so. Okay, let me get to the other side real quick and then we'll be about done with this haircut. All right. So I'm just gonna stick with my bigger shears and I'm gonna pull his ear down, get this hair that's kind of scraggly around the back. You can't really see too well, but I'm gonna hold his ear and I'm gonna kind of come right back here and blend it right into the back that I cut. Again, if his hair were really long, I'd want to pin some of this hair out of the way. Snip, snip, snip. Hope you guys are enjoying some of this beautiful day today. It's been nice that if we're at least uh, quarantined, we can get outside and take some walks or bike rides and maybe cook on the grill been blessed to have some pretty days, so take advantage of it. There we go. All right. So again, on this side, I could lift it up and pull it out and cut it like this, or I could also pull it out vertically and cut like that. So hopefully you can see that, so. It is only hair, it'll always grow back, so don't get too worried if it's not perfect. I will warn you, the hardest hair to cut is really, really straight blonde hair. If so if you have a little boy or a little girl that likes their hair really short, that little layer cut on a blonde, straight, fine hair is very difficult. I've been doing hair for 36 years and I still have a tough time making that look nice and soft and blended. So when you're cutting really straight hair that's really light, you're gonna really see some cut marks. And maybe I'll give you a little tip on that. So um, say your little boy does have really straight hair and really blonde and you're cutting it and every time you cut, you see the really defined lines going across. What is helpful, which I showed you the other day in my bang trim and I'll do a little bit now, is to when you're cutting, maybe cut a little bit more like this. So you're not really cutting, you're still cutting and trimming and making a line, but it's not quite as defined and blunt. It's the really blunt edge that makes it develop that kind of line in their hair. So for instance, you could take the hair, if he had a really um, straight blunt line, take the shears and just cut into it like this and that will help to uh, diminish that really blunt straight line you could kind of just do it all over those little ends it's called kind of point cutting cutting but you're kind of just getting um, that blunt edge cut off so anyway i hope that was helpful maybe i'll show you on ella's hair ella's hair is pretty straight and blonde and maybe i'll do a little trim on her of course, we won't cut it short, but I can still kind of show you a little bit of that technique. So anyway, I'm gonna blend in just this little bit and pretty much be done with this little haircut. And then to the beard, make sure, whoop, left a little bit behind here. So I'm gonna kind of go in there and clean up a little bit more, but you know, this would definitely hold someone over. Oops. 
about another month and get them through a little and uh bob bangs aren't really all that long but obviously if they had really long bangs and they were hanging in the bangs you might want to just go back to my uh, uh bang tutorial from the other day and watch a bang trim um but typically you would want to just kind of pull down the bangs and be really careful around their eyes and just uh trim them up a little bit but uh since i'm going to use a clipper cut i'm not going to worry about his bangs right now this was mostly just to kind of clean up around the edges and i'm also going to wait on all this neck neck hair uh for my clipper cut so anyway he's pretty much done and looking awesome like always but um uh, again if you don't have clippers just put some shaving cream on and use a razor anyway that's it for now on the little trim trim on Bob. And uh, I will show you a clipper cut here shortly. Wow, I don't know what I'm doing here. Anyway, I uh, hope this is helpful. And remember, um, wait if you can, but trim if you must. All right, you all have a great day.